Reflections on the Passion of Christ. Third reflection, the crowning with thorns. There are two principal benefits we can gain from meditating on our Lord's Passion. The first is an increase in the virtue of humility. As we see the sad effects of our sins on the innocent body of Christ, we understand how terrible a thing we've done by sinning. The second is an increase in the virtue of confidence in God, as we see the love he's shown for us by taking it upon himself to pay our debt. We see how much we cost him, and we see how dear we were to him for him to pay so great a price for us. In knowing ourselves, we arrive at humility. In knowing our Savior, we arrive at confidence in him, and consequently charity. Certainly one of the greatest physical sufferings of our Lord and his passion was the crowning of thorns. Not only due to the sensitivity of the head it punctured, but also because of its duration. Jesus wore that torturous crown from the time it was brutally forced on his head by the hands of a soldier in the praetorium up until the time of his death, when it was lovingly removed by the hands of a friend, perhaps his own mother. That painful crown pierced him continually, especially when it was first put on, when it was struck repeatedly with a reed, when it was torn off and replaced with the changing of his tunic, when the cross knocked against it as he stumbled along the sorrowful way. And when laid down on the cross, he, his crowned head rested against the wood and received the painful vibrations of the hammer blows that nailed his hands and feet. Apart from the physical pain it caused, that crown was also a public humiliation. It said to all the Jews who saw it, this is the man you wanted for your king, look at him now. This is how Jesus repaired for our sins of pride, by letting himself be humiliated. He repaired for our sins of vanity when he let them dress him in a mock costume. He repaired for our sins of ambition when he let them put in his hands a poor reed for a scepter, and he held it. He repaired for our vain pretensions when he let them bow down before him in ridicule. He repaired for our desire for praise and honor when he let them strike his head and spit on him. They spit on him in his face. Who would ever believe it if it weren't written down in the Gospels? O oh God, to what extremes of unheard of humiliation have you not gone to repair our sins of pride and to save us? Oh, 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 oh,